The sport of soccer is regarded as the most popular sport in the world. The game is played on a grass or turf field for a time span of 90 minutes. Each team is allowed to have a maximum of 11 players on the field. The objective of the game is to maximize the number of goals your team scores while limiting the amount of goals scored by opponents. Players can use any part of their body to score except their arms or hands. The rules of the game are enforced by a central official and two assistant referees who monitor the game to ensure safety. Equipment that is mandatory for players includes soccer cleats, shorts, socks, jerseys, and shin guards. There are many physics-related concepts when observing the sport of soccer. When a player kicks a soccer ball, the player is applying a force on the ball. Newton's third law states for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Therefore, we can conclude that the ball exerts a force of equal magnitude on the soccer player's foot in the opposite direction that the ball is kicked. This force is called the reaction force. This will result in a slight decrease in the velocity of the player's foot. This decrease in velocity will be minimal since the mass of the ball is a portion of the mass of the player's foot. Newton's second law states that the acceleration of a ball is produced by a net force that is directly proportional to the magnitude of the net force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. Therefore, when a ball is kicked, the acceleration of the ball will be the same direction as the force. Also, one can increase the magnitude of acceleration by increasing the force or by decreasing the mass of the ball. Over the years, technology has advanced, making lighter balls, which resulted in an increase in the velocity of the ball. Collisions between objects follow the laws of conservation of momentum. This means that the momentum of all objects before the collision is equivalent to the momentum after the collision. This law is exemplified when the ball ricochets off the crossbar. This is an example of an elastic collision as almost all the kinetic energy was conserved. Some kinetic energy is converted to sound energy, which is heard, and heat, caused by friction between the crossbar and ball. Soccer players use the law of conservation of energy when kicking a soccer ball. Chemical energy stored in the muscle of the player's legs is converted into kinetic energy of the leg. When the foot strikes the ball, kinetic energy of the foot is converted into kinetic energy of the ball as well as sound. When the ball reaches maximum height, kinetic energy equals zero as a result of the ball's velocity being zero. This means that at maximum height, most of the kinetic energy of the ball has been converted into gravitational potential energy while some energy is lost in the system due to drag. When the ball falls back down to earth, the gravitational potential energy is transferred into kinetic energy with a loss due to drag as well. Frictional force is found in almost all real world applications involving forces. Frictional force is defined as the force resisting the relative motion of solid surfaces, fluid layers, and material elements sliding against each other. In soccer, when a player applies a force on the ball, the frictional force will be in the opposite direction to the applied force. When in motion, the frictional force is equivalent to the net force. This will result in a decrease in speed of the ball until reaching a stop given a sufficient amount of horizontal displacement. Thank you for watching this physics breakdown of soccer.